What is up, handsome gamers? Relic here, and hope you're all doing well, as usual, of course. This morning I was just uh, doing my morning ritual, drinking my coffee, and reading all of your amazing comments on the channel. By the way, thank you guys so much for all your support and all your, uh, your comments and likes and whatnot. Really appreciated. Um, now, for the topic of this video, I thought I'd answer one of the most frequently asked questions that I get on my channel, especially since I've made my One Trick Pony video, uh, which you can watch right here. Click on that uh, annotation right there. And it's basically, I, I was recommending to you guys to pick four champions for season six. And a lot of people have been asking, what are my four picks for me personally? And what I recommend for people who play certain lanes. You know, people are like, I'm AD Carry, what do you recommend as a champion? Or I'm support, or I'm top, or whatever. So I thought I would answer this in a video, but instead of giving you guys a list of champions that I recommend for season six, instead what I'll do is I will explain to you guys how you should be picking your champions for season six and not which champions. So let's start with your main role and main champion. This is the champion that you'll be playing almost every game in season six if you get the opportunity to do so. So when you get your main role, I'll take myself as an example so that I'm able to answer two questions at once. So first of all, my main role for me is jungle, of course. My main champion, to no surprise, is Nidalee. So every time that Nidalee's available, she's not picked by the enemy team or my teammates, and I get jungle, I'll most likely pick Nidalee just because she's my main champion. She's very versatile, and I think that I can play her in almost every comp to a certain success. So that's my personal pick. Now, how did I come to choose Nidalee? One of the biggest criteria that you need to have when you're picking your main champion, the champion that you're going to be spamming for hundreds of games, is a high skill cap champion. That is my recommendation personally. If you're good mechanically or if you're trying to get better mechanically, a high skill cap champion is going to help you get better at the game while learning the champion. That's how I learned how to play League of Legends was through Nidalee because she's so difficult to play that if you're really trying to get better on the champion, if you play hundreds of games on the champion, you'll eventually just get better at the game overall. So I recommend a high skill cap champion for your main because you can also get the most out of the champion by playing a lot of games on it as well. So if you're playing Garen as your main champion, I doubt that you'll learn much about the game even if you play hundreds of games on him because you're basically just spamming Q and auto attacking um, in your games. That's my recommendation though. If you want to play Garen as your main, I don't judge you. So my second pick personally in the jungle is Elise. Now here's where it gets tricky and where a lot of people do not think about their second pick. The reason why I would be picking Elise is usually because Nidalee is either banned or picked on the other team, right? Because if Nidalee is available and you're following my rules that I set in my previous video, you're going to pick Nidalee or you're going to pick your main champion when it's available and when you get your main role. So if it's not available, then usually it's because it's on the other team. So if you're intelligent and you think ahead of your enemy, then your second pick, your most picked champion, your second most picked champion is going to be a main counter to your main champion, if that makes any sense. So my second pick for me is Elise, because Elise actually is really good against Nidalee in the jungle. And I know that if I don't get to play Nidalee, it's usually because she's on the other team. And so I play Elise and usually shit on Nidalee when I play um, on Elise. Hopefully that makes sense, but if I can give you maybe a more uh, easy example, but let's say you play Fizz mid, right? And Fizz is really strong against Lux. Let's say, I'm just pretending. Well, make sure that your second champion is not Lux, because if you're not playing Fizz, usually it's because it's on the other team, and if you're gonna be playing Lux as your second champion every time Fizz is picked, you're gonna get shit on every time you don't get your main champion. Instead, Pick a champion that's really strong against Fizz so that when the enemy pick Fizz, when the enemy picks Fizz, you go like, yes, that's good. All right, I'll just pick my second champion and shit on you. Uh, so that's a really big recommendation for me, um, for you guys. When you're picking champions in season six, make sure that your main doesn't counter your, 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 your alternate champion. It's the opposite way around. So make sure that your second pick counters your main so that when you someone picks your main you get to pick your alternate and just counter them so that you don't need as much skill on your alternate champion to beat your main pick because you won't get as much practice on your secondary champion as you will on your main of course for your alternate picks basically your second role and you know secondary picks what i recommend is the exact opposite of 
your main pick. Do not pick high skill cap champions because you won't get to play these champions as often since you'll hopefully be spamming your main champion to gain elo. So pick easier champions for your alternate picks to make sure that when you do have to fill as your secondary role, take myself as an example again, when I do have to go top lane, which is my second role, I will not play Riven or I will not play some extremely high skill cap champion that I need hundreds of games on to be good at. Instead, I'll play you know, I'll play Ryze, which is quite easy. I'll play Vlad. Vlad and Ryze are my two top picks right now because I think they're really easy to play and they can provide a lot to your team by not necessarily being that good at. Maybe I'll play some Shen when uh, the rework comes live. Mundo is another pick that's really easy for top. So think about that when you're picking your alternate champions, your secondary picks. Take champions that are much easier to play so that when you do have to fill and when you have to play a game of those in one day that, that you don't practice that much, you're still good on them and you don't need you know to make these outplays necessarily to be good on them. So if I can give you guys a few recommendations to finish off this video, I will post them in the description below. I will show you guys a list of champions that I recommend for your main picks and your alternate picks. So high skill cap champions for your main picks and low skill cap champions for your alternate picks along with a counter pick for your main um, on your alternate main pick. So this is very complicated stuff, I guess, when you, you know, look at it, but it's pretty easy uh, when you actually do it. So just think about it. Counter your main when you're picking your secondary champion and also pick easier champions as your alternate picks and so that you don't need as much practice on them. And you should be good to go in Season 6. So my picks, again, just to remind you, is Nidalee, Elise, Ryze, and uh, Vladimir top lane. So those will be the champions that you'll most likely see the most often in my videos, especially during my 30-day challenge, because I'll be spamming ranked games during my 30-day challenge, and basically it'll only be these champions, because I really want to get the highest elo possible in 30 days. So look out for those champions. Hopefully you're excited to see me play those. I'm already pretty decent on all of them. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos and make sure to drop a comment below with your picks and what you guys will play. And I'll definitely give you guys some ideas maybe to help you out for season six. And I'll see you soon.